Exodus to Mars, starring Anita Bell as the Princess of Mars. Today's episode is a competition to become the King of Mars. The King of Mars is either the husband of the Princess of Mars or her son. The competition is steep. We have various men trying to woo the Princess of Mars. She owns an asteroid belt worth quintillions in mining rights. She has so much gold, she makes gold almost worthless. Almost. So she has some suitors. First to come is Pope Francis. I propose a platonic marriage. Next! Joe Biden enters the competition. Oh, hell no. Elon Musk is the next competitor. I offered to adopt you, but you're so damn evil. Is it evil sexy? Not to African Eve. I'm hiding the fruit of the tree of life from your evil ass. Don't start having another memory or flashback or whatever you call your time traveling. I remember that I must deliver the fruit of my family tree from evil. You. But I can be redeemed, right? Only if you pay reparations and universal basic income, Ruby. That's the only way you and your colony will have a right to Mars. Otherwise, you're at risk of losing a nuclear World War III. Russia landed on Mars before America. America's might does not give you a right over Russia's unless Mars is already occupied by the Haru. Afro-descended Haru will not be fighting your world war. Africans probably won't fight either. We both will be neutral. There's no such thing as neutral in a nuclear war. Pick a side! Russia and China enslaved the fewest Africans. But America and NATO are democracies and Christian. We're the good guys. The Christian good guys kidnapped, enslaved, raped, colonized, tortured, and killed my people, and we didn't vote to be enslaved. A signer of the Declaration of Independence and two American presidents forced their way into my family tree. Rape doesn't inspire patriotism. If Mars is indeed unoccupied, America can keep its promise to blacks to pay us 40 acres in Martian land. This way, our promised land isn't stolen from the indigenous. Instead of a mule, we'll take Martian asteroid mining as reparations. I like the 40 acres idea because blacks might vote Republican in honor of Abraham Lincoln. Tesla Motors can sponsor Detroit's 2024 Reparations Awareness Day. Would you endorse Donald Trump? Probably not, but who else is running? I'll invite them. What's in it for me? Why should I pay Ruby? To make peace with the Haru of Earth and Mars. I like war. I make a lot of money off of wars. Give me a better reason. Teleportation. That's worth more than asteroid mining. Thanks, Mom. I'll be a reparation superhero. If you won't, maybe China will. They're in fourth place in the race to Mars. But black Egyptian Haru got to Mars first. Then thousands of years later, Russia landed on Mars second. America is in third place. 
Reparations to Afro-descended Haru becomes a matter of national security to justify American colonies and asteroid mining on Mars. If Mars doesn't belong to the Haru, then doesn't it belong to Russia? That's the real reason for a nuclear World War III. Will China and Russia pay more to the Afro-descended Haru than America and NATO? Will Elon Musk pay reparations so that he can have the right to mine Martian asteroids? Are you an Afro-descendant? Text reparations to 877-506-2184. And tune in next time to Exodus to Mars, coming soon as a game. Become a Haru and own an asteroid mine worth quintillions.